Um, we watched Fire of Love, and for me, it is one of my favorite things to see documentaries of, like, crazy white people because it ends in them dying. Like, I hate it when, like, <laughs> white people do crazy shit and somehow they end up alive still. Um, we watched one not too long ago where it was a guy who liked to free climb mountains, like, and wasn't just, like, climbing a mountain. It was, like, climbing a, like, a ice, like, K2 and shit freehand. He was climbing up, like, fucking scaling, like, mountain cliffs where it was ice and then it turned into terrain and then it turned back into ice because you need to change your shoes and you have to figure out how to like navigate shit because on the ice you have to use the picks and then on the mountain side you have to use your hands and it was fucking crazy and the entire time he's like climbing this shit and i'm like what the fuck bro like no like you should have died like five times ago. Like, what the fuck is going on? He was like setting records and shit. And the one time he decides to actually like bring a friend because that was one of his things. Like he had to climb mountains by himself, right? Because it was him in the mountain. This dude like took a ton of acid too whenever he was younger. So sometimes, sometimes too much is, you know, and I'm talking about like way too much. He was saying that he was taking like six hits like every other day, which is fucking crazy. But, um, anyway, yeah, so he, he always wanted to climb by himself and he finally ends up climbing with like a friend and the friend has a fucking cell phone and they're like talking and texting and live streaming like that they climbed a mountain and that's what got him. Like the one time he climbs with a friend and with shit, like service and stuff, apparently like there was an avalanche and game over. But yeah, I love that shit.